Hi, I'm Dr. Eileen O'Connor. I'm going to share a bit about my background. I began working as a chemist uh, for government and then for industry. Then I went to IBM for 10 years. And then after that, I moved into the education area. And as you can see here, I have a doctorate um, from the University of Albany in instruction and design. And I studied molecular models and students learning those. And I have a uh, master's in uh, engineering. And on the undergrad level, I was a biology major with a chemistry minor. Although I had worked for a small company in the 1970s that made uh, what you might call robotics equipment, it was really when I came to IBM in the 1980s and worked with the System 9000, which was a big computer by today's standards, as personal computers would go, that controlled lab equipment. And you can see it here. It's a little funny by today's standards, but it had uh, soft keys built in. It was really a very innovative interface for technology back in the 1980s. My move into the education field in the 1990s, though, has given me a lot of opportunities to work with many different groups. And this is an urban group that I work with. Last summer, we were designing virtual environments together. One of my favorite and ongoing projects has been a virtual healthcare environment that I set up to work with healthcare people in America and also over in South Sudan in Africa. And I've always enjoyed the many different ways I can share this information, such as this um, website that I created to kind of show some of the visual effects of this virtual healthcare environment. But I think my favorite is I can now share some of my family. Here are a few of my grandchildren and some of my older children. So little did I know that the computer revolution that I had stepped into in the early 1980s would have such a global impact. So I've been able to see a lot of changes coming into the media we use and the way we communicate. Um, over the years, and particularly today, we're really networked if we choose to be part of it. Now, basic technologies are really in the reach of most Americans, and even schools are finally getting on board with bringing in technologies. And our lives and our machines and our communication are really controlled with and through technology, again, at least within our country. So I'll be looking forward to seeing the ways you've seen technology impact your experience, and then we'll broaden this over the course of the upcoming course.